Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Finds TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd, 2022. Scholars, let's get ready for our Brain Break segment. Welcome to our Brain Break and SEL technique. Today, we will be meditating by breathing in and out with headspace. Just take a moment to sit down and take a big, deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, a sense of taking in fresh air the lungs expanding as you breathe out a sense of letting go so relax with us next time for our next brain break and SEL technique now let's go to word of the day hey david did you hear all the derogatory comments robert made towards whole saying class today yeah he said some pretty hurtful things wait i think it's finally hitting me now how much better you're getting at this what do you mean you didn't even ask me what derogatory means. Oh yeah, because I know what derogatory means. It means rude, mean, or hurtful. That's right. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word, Word of the Day. Day. I'll be sure to watch what I say. I don't want anything I say to come up as derogatory. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Angeli. Sports fans, our boys basketball team played their seventh game this past Tuesday. They won with a whopping score of 43-23, to with James Camry being MVP with 16 points. Congrats on making it to the semifinals, Patriots. In other news, we are all about basketball this week, and we have to tell you of a young rising star in the NBA who had an unbelievable game recently. Rookie sensation Jay Moran from the Memphis Grizzlies dominated Monday's game against San Antonio Spurs. In just about half an hour, he dunked on a 7-foot defender and set a new personal record for points with 52 in the game. The most stunning move of the night, though, was when with .4 seconds left in the second quarter, he caught the ball, shot, and scored, all without even touching the floor. The arena went wild and his teammates mobbed him. That shot was one for the history books. Now let's go to Joshua for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is... Grilled cheese panini, romaine salad, baby carrots, ranch dressing, fresh pear, and your trace of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving us today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Angeli. That sounds delicious. Sports fans, our boys basketball team has played their semi-playoff game. Here are the results of the game. Make sure to congratulate them on a hard-fought season. I can't wait to see what our team does next. Also, girls' flag football tryouts are this Thursday in the gym at 3.45 p.m. I hope you all make the team. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Angeli. Hey, Patriots. It looks like another warm day with temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. In other weather news, located at Lake Erie Ice, 18 people were stranded on a chunk of the lake's ice that was separated from the rest of the lake. The people were snowmobiling on the ice while rough winds were at work. The winds reached up to over 25 miles per hour, slicing through the lake. Boats and helicopters came to their rescue two to three hours later. I'm glad they're safe. Now let's go to Vani for Patriot on the Go. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm your host, Vani. Today's question is, if you had a store, what would you sell? Now to your Patriots responses. How would you like to be interviewed? Sure. Well, I have a question for you. If you had a store, what would it sell? Hmm, it would be like fiction. Fiction, like books? Mm -hmm. Oh, you like books? 
Ooh, I love that. Okay, well, let's see your next Patriot. Thank you. If you had a store, what would it sell? Comic books and action figures. And why is that? Because I'm very uh, connected to <laughs> like action figures and stuff. Oh, you like reading? Yeah. Oh, cool. If you had owned a store, what would it sell? Um, Shrek dolls, um, food, and, and video games. But why? Because those are my favorite three things. Oh, cool. Well, food is really yummy. If you had a store, what would you sell? Uh, I would sell PS5s. And why is that? Uh, because so uh, more people can play on them. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> I would sell food for people so they like could be like healthy and stuff. Oh, cool. You just want to help out people in need. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. If you had a store, what would it sell? Um, chairs of uh, soccer. Soccer? Oh, cool. You like soccer? Like the sport? Oh, nice. Thank you, Patriots, for all your interesting responses and answers to the question, if you had to own a store, what would you sell? Well, that's it for Patreon on the Go. Bye. Today's birthday boys and girls are Alyssa Desrizo, Maximiliano Basto, Diamond Barker, and Xander Tillis. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Destiny. Also, happy birthday. Patriots, here are your past expectations. Error of sense. Present yourself positively. Act kind towards others. Do the school's environment respectfully. And succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Stone, Miss June, Miss Only, Miss Sheriff, Miss Shadid, and Miss I am Thankwa. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was How many neck bones does a giraffe have? The correct answer is seven. Now, teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What is the name of the world's biggest island? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced in the next morning announcements. Everyone at RBTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.